Good morning. I've been up for about 30 minutes. I just took a shower, washed my face, did my skincare. It's my weekend reset day. So I work on Sundays right now, and so Saturdays are my new Sundays. So I'm gonna take you guys through what I do to Sunday reset. Yesterday, I didn't really have much to do during the day, so I went ahead and deep cleaned my apartment, and I'm feeling phenomenal about it. She's just looking so beautiful. We're a little bit ahead of the game this weekend. Right now, we're gonna go to Hobby Lobby. Actually, no, we're gonna go to Starbucks first, and then we're gonna go to Hobby Lobby because next weekend I get to go to Lubbock. And it's my little Abby's 21st shop book. So I need to make her shop book page and I'm really excited about it. I have a really good idea. I'm gonna do a grande brown sugar shake and espresso. And then do y'all have the egg white wrap right now? One more left. Oh, yay. Yes. Yay. We got last one left. Perfect. Y'all never have it. I'm excited. <laughs> That's gonna be it. Can I have a name for the order? It's Erin. Woo! It's literally my lucky day. They never have this. I'm so happy. Made it to Hobby Lobby. My Starbucks is Starbucks thing. I'm obsessed with the brown sugar shake and espressos. I'm gonna eat. Love this wrap. So good. Do I hear that crunch? I feel like I forgot how to make shop book pages. Like I don't even know where to start. I'm feeling lost and confused. Okay, we got it figured out. I used to make them all the time, but for some reason my brain just like didn't remember how to make them. And if you don't know what a shop book is, I'll show you guys mine when I get home. Abby, if you're watching this, go. This is not for you. Okay, I'm gonna do Mother Knows Best like from Tangled and I can't decide if I'm gonna say like take a rest and get her a sober shot or if I'm gonna do like no time to rest and give her alcohol. I don't know if I wanna be like a good big or a bad big. I haven't decided yet. So I got these little pearls. I've bought these a couple times for different people's pages but they're just pink and purple which is like the Tangled colors. This pink swirly paper and then this purpley paper that's kinda got some detailing on it and then I got two packs of these gold letters and then I got these little crown stickers so now we're gonna go pick up the pictures just picked up the pictures um i have to show you guys two that i made that i edited specifically for this <laughs> i'm dead so i edited our faces onto pictures of rapunzel and her mom so like there we are this is like me hugging her even though her mom is evil so maybe i have to be an evil big and make her take another shot and i also did one of her boyfriend that is just too freaking funny. We have such cute pictures together. But I tried to pick the most like feral ones. Like, who is that little demon? This one is so cute. I met like the most amazing, amazing friends in college and I will forever be so thankful for that. But Abby in particular is like, I just feel so blessed that I ever met her because we are so similar and like I could not think of a more perfect like little sister figure to have and like best friend. She's genuinely like my best friend, one of my best friends. I just love that girl so much and I can't wait to see her. I'm so excited. I miss all my friends. We're home now, so let's get crafting. So when you do a shop book page, you have one page that's like your letters and one page that's your pictures. I think that the purple, well, I don't know yet actually. Also, life hack. Hobby Lobby sells like cute little chains like this and like the snake necklaces that are really trendy for literally $4. I bought a necklace just like this from Express last weekend and it was $20. No, I'm dead. This is literally so funny. Like I kind of want him like away from us. <laughs> Get away, David. I kind of want us to be the main focus. No, it looks good when we're all together, I think. It doesn't matter. It literally doesn't matter. Hopefully they get married because this is in her shop for forever now. Okay, I decided to be bad. This is so freaking cute. It's so cute. I added the little crowns and then the jewels. This is the hardest part. It always works, but like how do you fit all these pictures on one page? We got them all to fit actually really well. I ended up getting to use like all of the pictures I printed, but two, which is rare. She's literally gonna kill me. I added little crowns and my extra jewels on and I just think it's so cute. Okay, hey, it's much, much later in the day now. My parents came over and they helped me with some stuff. And then we ran some errands. Get in there. Okay. And then we got dinner. And I didn't really vlog because I just kind of wanted to hang out and be in the moment, you know? But we did go to Target and to Trader Joe's. So shout out to my parents. I wanted to show you guys some dupes that I got at Target. First is this 
sports bra. It's like the Lulu one. That, and it feels like exactly the same. So cute, I got a baby blue one. $16, shut up. I saw this on TikTok and I was like, I have to have it. It is a do for the free people onesie. Like look, are you literally serious? $40. I also got some snackies for work. Goldfish and popcorn. As far as Trader Joe's goes, I'll show you guys what I got. The spinach tortellini. Some chicken meatballs that I love. I got more coffee. Arugula. Because we're going to make these like basically at home cobbles for my meal prep this week. I made a TikTok about them last night, but I'll show you guys on here too. Chicken sausage. Because we're going to meal prep some um, breakfast sandwiches. I'll show you guys that too. This is my favorite stuff from Trader, Trader Joe's. It's the Japanese style fried rice. Oh my god, I got these pickle chips. They're amazing. I got some English muffins for my meal prep. Also, I have some laundry I need to put away, which is like my least favorite thing to do in the whole entire world. We're going to meal prep now. So we're going to make meal prep breakfast and lunches. We're gonna start with breakfast. You're gonna wanna get your oven preheating to 350 degrees. The way I'm gonna show you guys how to do your eggs is gonna make such a difference in your sandwiches because it's gonna make them the perfect shape. You're gonna wanna crack your eggs in the bowl. Six. Okay, well I only have one egg left, so I'm just gonna do seven to just finish up the container. Gonna do like some salt, pepper, do whatever you want. You can also add some like milk, whatever you like. So you're gonna need a little dish like this and then you'll put some parchment paper in there. You're gonna pour the mixture into this and then put it in the oven on 350 for 15 minutes. Patties are on the stove, eggs in the oven, English muffins in the toaster. Our English muffins are toasted and my chicken sausages are done. Now she's done cut it into little squares. Just take an egg. She's so fluffy. It's very hot. And then that. And then we'll take a piece of cheese. Boom. Oh, and there you go. And now they're all wrapped up in the little tin foils. I'm just gonna pop them in the freezer. And then when I warm them up, I put them in the microwave for like, I usually do two minutes, I think. I usually put them in the microwave for two minutes, warm them up, and then they're beautiful and perfect and delicious and healthy. I'm chopping up my veggies, so I'm gonna do cucumber, spinach, and arugula and then I'm also gonna make some Brussels sprouts so I'm just gonna season those with some salt and pepper and olive oil also adding some parsley in there sometimes I do cilantro so just whatever you have or whatever you like my cucumbers are in I love some crunch so I'm gonna do shaved almond and I love feta cheese so we're gonna add feta in there Add my Brussels sprouts a little bit just so I don't know I have more bang for my buck, kind of, even though it's literally the same amount. We're gonna add in our cauliflower rice. This is about five servings of it. The salad is literally gonna look huge after this, and that's the best part. I also made some of the Trader Joe's Orzo pilaf mix last night, and I had some leftover, so I'm just gonna add whatever I have left into this. Mix her up. It looks so good, and we're not even done yet. I cut up my naan bread and put strips of it in my meal prep container. Okay, now we're gonna dress the salad. I put the meatballs in the containers after I mix the salad because I wanna make sure I have enough protein in all of my box, all of my meal prep containers. Okay, so for the dressing, I do the Trader Joe's tzatziki. It's so good. And then I add some olive oil, red wine vinegar, and then sometimes I add some salt, pepper, and lemon juice. Just depends on the taste. Give her a good mix. Let me give it a little taster. Mm -hmm. I'm speechless. That's how full they all are. Look how beautiful that looks. Hey, now I'm gonna chop up my meatballs into smaller pieces, just so like I have some in each bite. Four is a serving, and I believe that's 16 grams of protein. Okay, it looks like way less aesthetic and cute with the meatballs in there, but there it all is. So it took me about an hour and a half to make everything like start to finish, and I was also vlogging and like changing camera angles in the meantime, so it's not a long process and that's all I have to cook for the entire week. I try to really load up like this and my breakfast sandwich with a lot of protein to keep me full and then I snack a lot more than I used to because I'm kind of just on the go. I've been really liking meal prepping and it is saving me so much money. I'm not even trying to like get in better shape. I mean, I'm always like wanting to be healthy. But I feel like I've noticed like such good changes in my body since I started being really consistent with meal prepping. It's been like over a month now. And I feel like I've just like toned up a lot. I've also been really intentional with more protein. So that's probably the, the biggest thing that's been helping is like my muscle are just really popping lately. I recommend if you are busy working girls, meal prepping is really a game changer. I was gonna go to the gym. I haven't decided yet if I wanna go. Okay, I decided yes to the gym, but this sports bra 
This is the Target one that I just got today. It is so flattering. It's so buttery. Like, it feels just like my Lulu one. So I'm gonna feel so cute, like, skipping my leg day in this. Kidding. I think I am gonna do leg day today, even though I hate legs. I don't know what my beef is with leg day, but I just don't like it. I love my little arm pump. I'm starting to get, like, the second little boop. Just a tiny baby bit. See, this is the what all that... Protein is doing to me. I went to the gym slay. I guess not that many people go to the gym at 9 p.m. on a Saturday night. We're gonna start. I think we're gonna start at the squat rack. Whatever this here last is 25 pounders on here. Okay. Out of breath. I'm gonna do lunges. 15 pound weights in both hands. That's all I'm doing for legs now. I'm gonna do 12 minutes on the elliptical just to make it to 30 minutes, and I'm going home. And my legs are burning, so let's go take a shower. In the last vlog I did, I showed you guys a lot about my skincare, but in this vlog I'm gonna show you guys a lot about my hair care. I always get questions on this. These are the shampoos and conditioners I use. I like the red tan one, and I use the blonde high bright shampoo and conditioner, and then for purple shampoo, I use the Fanola. It's amazing. I also love the Biolage product. Let's get into the hair product. Okay, I'm gonna take my hair out of my towel. I start by putting in the Redken all-in-one um, multi-benefit treatment. I know it's like a leave-in conditioner, smooths, frizzes, it's also like a heat protectant. We love her, she's really good. Okay, we're gonna finish brushing. Then I go in with the Redken thermal heat protectant. The more the merrier, right? I use the Dyson Airwrap. I'm not gonna do anything special, I'm literally just gonna blow dry it and go over it with the smoothing brush. I'm gonna blow dry it like upside down, like my hair ups my head upside down so that I get more volume. <laughs> So now that it's damp, we're gonna split it. We're gonna put some of this stuff, which is the Color Wow Dream Coat. My hair lady just showed me this last time I was there, and it's awesome. It makes your hair. She just said it makes your hair feel like glass, or not look feel like glass. She said it makes your hair like look like glass. Now we're gonna just get it more dry. Take the smoothing brush and go over it. Alrighty, so that's the hair. Blow dried, she's soft, she's smooth, she smells good, she's fresh, she's clean. Ooh! Don't you just want to climb in that? Look how comfy and cute she looks. I can 100% guarantee I will not make my bed for the rest of the week. I'm in my bed. I'm probably gonna go kill a solid hour on TikTok because I finished Gossip Girl for the second time and I don't have a new Love Island episode tonight, so I don't really know what else to do or what. Anyways, I'm gonna go to bed though because we have work in the morning, so I hope you guys enjoyed resetting with me i have definitely not always done weekend resets especially in college i never did this as a post-grad girly i guess it's been really helping me i feel like it helps me save money it helps me feel a lot less stressed in my week because i don't have to worry about making food or cooking or cleaning or anything like that but i try my best because it really does help so anyway make sure you follow me on tiktok and instagram i post on there a lot i love you guys so much and i will see you guys in my next video